Let's think about spoofing attacks. So spoofing means that the attacker is going to claim another identity and based on uh, the method we have a layer 2 spoofing attacks which means that the attacker is going to spoof the MAC address of a specific endpoint and that's, that's going to be possible only if the attacker is directly connected at layer 2 in order to spoof the victim's MAC address, uh, the, 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 the MAC address of, 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 of a device because we know that the MAC address is relevant only in a specific uh, VLAN otherwise the, the physical uh, address uh, identity is being lost across layer 3 boundaries. So that's, being, that's usually being done and possible when the attacker is physically connected on the inside of the network. We have layer 3 spoofing, which means IP address spoofing, which is likely to happen from the internet. Usually the attacker is on the outside of the network. So that's going to be the, the moment when the attacker is going to spoof uh, somebody's identity and, and claim uh, and is going to claim somebody else's identity and send illegitimate traffic which is going uh, which, to which show up like coming from a specific source but actually that's being spoofed. Now for example how this works is if this is let's say a portion of the internet and server A has an IP address of 1111 in, for example, router 4, and let's say PCA has an IP address of 222, and let's say those two systems have some kind of security in place, like a, a filtering being done so that they can only, they only allow traffic back and forward between themselves. So PCA and server A, they don't accept any kind of traffic from other sources. So if the attacker wants to actually speak, communicate with any of those devices, its best chance is, like if this is the attacker in here, its only chance to speak with any of those devices, like if it wants to launch an attack to 11111, it has to source it from 2222 because otherwise the system will not allow the incoming session to uh, do not allow it is going to otherwise the uh, the server A is going to drop the incoming session if it doesn't come from a source which is allowed within its security policies so this is the, the moment when the attacker spoofs the source because actually 2222 is not owned by the attacker but it's owned by PCA then we have we're going to speak also layer 4 spoofing uh, kind of, we have also layer seven spoofing, which means the application spoofing. This this attack can happen from both the inside and the outside. Like from the inside, somebody can spoof the DHCP server in order to uh, to break the the D to uh, make the DHCP server not being able to provide IP addresses or uh, to deplete the DHCP uh, pool of IP addresses from the server. Or it can be an ARP attack. That's also an application. So layer, layer 7 application, it depends w w at which OC layer the application runs because DHCP is not a layer 7 uh, OC layer, but it's a uh, layer 4 TCP IP stack uh, level. So application attack can be from the OC point of view, layer 2, layer 3, layer 4, layer 7. It depends on the protocol being exploited. So from these that as I was saying, a DHCP attack, an ARP attack, or from the outside we can have DNS attacks, SMTP attacks, HTTP attacks. So, uh, so these are going to be attacks targeting a specific application. 